So we're just coming back now and we're having a look at the Rei Kumite drill with uh, Olaf Gray. Olaf, thank you. I'll just walk through it slowly again. It starts with the shove. I check and I bridge. I check and I bridge and I hit. He checks and he bridges as he strikes. Just like in the multiple choki drill, I tried to prevent the arm from striking me. So hopefully he's not going to sneak through and punch me in the face like uh, someone else did. I, got it. I try to hold him from here. Temporarily he comes over the top of it and puts my wrist in a joint lock. He comes over the top. I try to come underneath it like this. And if I can't come underneath it, I just want to headbutt him. Either way, it works for me. So I sneak underneath it while I'm controlling the fist as I pop up. I expect the elbow to come back from here. I'm just going to turn him around. I expect, but I'm holding on here or, or here. I hold him from here. The instinct is for him to do the two-way action, pull and push. That's where we started from number two right here. I hold it, he swings up my face. I bring it up and block like Naihanchi from here. He does a nukite out like this, pulls me as a setup. The nukite becomes a bicep bump to set me up to pull me into his knee. He pulls me down, I let go and I protect my knee. He grabs my throat. I grab his hand to try to pull my hand off. He pulls one hand out, hits, slams me from here. I shove the hand out of the way, I stop. Keep in mind, these were the escape and counter clinches from the bubishi. I slide the arm around and come underneath, like I do in Seunchin from here. He Joint manipulation, limb entanglement, no spaces. Joint manipulation, like strangulation, go with the power, don't fight against it. He goes with it, he comes around, he tries to get me into the choke. If I cannot pull out of the choke, I need to come up, to, especially for rear arm, turn into the choke, walk and come from here, make his hand part of my body, and drag him and, and drag him down from here. Alternatively, if I'm able to escape out of the choke and he's got me by the, uh, 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 the shoulders, I want to try to turn, he stiff arms me, I turn into it, a little shot into the cojones, slam down, throat, Pull it out, hook it in from here, I'll just turn him around, hook it in from here, sink it down and press him up. So I've got this, this action from here, and that's where we ended because we we're going to then take the guy down to the ground from here. He rolls out, he kicks, I, I pull him back, I stomp, or I stomp into the testicles, I pull in from here, I kick the body, yeah, here, he tries to grab a hold of my leg, my leg is trapped. I pivot around so that I can try to kick the back of the face here and pull my knee into his knee holding the heel squeezing it up so I have this action from here 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 and I drag it up like this first action of bus I die for example from here in the event that that doesn't work I hook it under the here I drop the knee onto the rib cage I'll spare him the weight today. Smashing into the face, like in MP, for example. I've got him locked here. I press the body here. I come up with the heel hook, sorry, just like I do out of Seipai. And it, sorry. And in the event that the arm, the leg comes out, I can still, sorry, hook it, come in there. Same thing from Basai Dai or Kusanku as well. Now we carried on from here, but in today's lesson, that's as far as we went. So let's go and work with that, okay?